Everybody, this is Wally. We're back with Ruining a Classic, sponsored by Eight Mile Vodka and locally Larson's Bar. I'm here with Pete. Today we're still in the Christmas season. The next classic we are ruining is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Peter, what are your initial thoughts on this movie? Because I have mine, but I want to hear yours. So honestly, the Vacation series is one of the funniest series. Like I love love phenomenal. the Vacation series. Phenomenal. Chevy Chase is Chase, phenomenal. It's it's this, his magnum opus. I would I would say arguably the the vacation series is his magnum opus, and I wish they would have extended it longer. Phenomenal. A uh, little fact: this is the only vacation series that does not feature Holiday Road, but we do get Mavis Staples singing the Christmas song. True. Pretty true, cool. True. And we get that little animation in the beginning. It yeah. Which is weak because Santa falling off the house like that that's Santa's like terrain like he's just falling They're off making the house. Santa look like a punk. I know, but anyways, we get that initial like driving sequence of them going to get a Christmas tree. And Johnny Galecki from Big <laughs> Bang Theory, it's just the sun which Every like vacation movie, the son and daughter are different actors. They got, are. They are. To, Juliet Lewis to, to and show Johnny the progression Galecki. of age, they, they did that on purpose. But Pete, did you ever go out anywhere to like cut down a Christmas tree with your family? Or Never did we did the uh, the fake tree? All year. fake. We so me and my family basically did every other year. We we're like, oh, this year we'll get a we'll get a real tree, and we had to go out, and it was always like, oh yeah, no, 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 we're we're gonna get a real tree. Um. Let me Alex, ask you this. Though. Alex, you and your dad, you're going to go cut it down. Let me ask you this, though. You went and cut it down? Mm-hmm. Now, when they trudge through the snow, through like 80 miles of whatever terrain no, they go through. Nothing around here they, like that. And then he goes, Dad, do you have a saw? And then the family of four just rips it out of the ground. Do you think that's possible? No, because... No I mean, like, fucking way. I mean, like, around here, we have places which, like, I mean, un, unsponsored plug, like Mathis, like... You go out there, you pick out your tree. There's actually like a worker there with you, pretty much. So, I've I've, I've never dealt with that extreme of like, hey, let me rip this fucking pine tree right out of the ground and put some shit on it and take it back home. But like, no. So, I that and then the the whole car under the truck with the trees from Final Destination too. Like, there's no way that that car's making it. Look, if this was a show about physics, we could really do about an hour oh, deep yeah. dive about know. how Isaac none Newton of that could happen. Go, oh, oh, absolutely. Fucking day. But they get the tree home eventually. It's way too big. And that's kind of Rips one of the first. Through the walls and oh, the ceiling absolutely. and the roof and every crevice of that. And then, but then, like, most of the movie after that, and again, I love this movie, but most of the movie after that follows. It's a little windy out here. We are still f- filming on Larson's patio. It's a this little windy out Wizard tonight. This is Wizard This is Larson's patio. Um, but most of the movie after that is like two things. Like uh, Chevy Chase's character either shopping for presents, dealing with his Uncle Eddie, or decorating his house. There's three main plot lines throughout that movie. Yeah, and if we're going to talk about the shopping scene, I mean, that was a little... I have there. I have no shame in admitting I popped a boner during a holiday movie to Mary whatever her name was whatever at the her lingerie name was, like, counter. The fact that she's at the front of the counter and she's just lifting her skirt up, showing Chevy Chase. I would her, buy her all of the lingerie. Line, like, this is a this is supposed to be a family movie. I need to, so again. I am a bartender here at Larson's. Thank you again, Donald, for the sponsorship. But like, if I could hire a lady like that to sell some drinks, like, I would make a lot more money. Not to be sexist, but like, sex sells. Sex does sell, and the fact that like, he's got the biggest chubby in the world, and then <laughs> his son comes over and he's like, "Hey, Dad, what are you doing?" And it's like, "Uh, just getting some lingerie for Beverly D'Angelo." who is a smoke show throughout the entire family vacation series. I think we need to point out. Oh, no, we'll point it out. The fact that she only shows her tits in the first one and then the following movies, like, we never see it again. Because we've already seen them and we already know. We had know. a slow decline in the vacation movies with uh, nudity. We did, but we got a better quality of content. I would, 
say. Yeah, we arguably, did get we did get the fast times you. at Ridgemont High. Thank you, thank you, tow truck driver. Again, we are recording on the patio of Larson's bar. There's going to be some backup sound. But Apologies. I would say, out of all the family vacation movies, I, I actually think Christmas Vacation, outside of being a holiday movie, is my favorite. That's your favorite. Out of all the vacation movies, yes, and out of all the vodkas I've ever tried, I would have to say eight locally mile. eight mile. Not is. even locally, globally. Globally, eight mile is my favorite. I've had Kettle One, I've had Rika, I've had Tito's, I've had a lot of good vodkas. But when it comes to like a vodka I can go to all the time, it's eight mile. No, for sure. Eight mile I, that's the one thing we can agree on. One hundred percent. Now one thing I wanna like look at is Chevy Chase decorates that whole house, right? All those lights. Chevy Chase is all of our Midwestern dads on steroids. Absolutely. My father never decorated the house for Christmas. But there is a certain sect of Midwestern dad that goes all the way out on now, decorating the house. As somebody, you grew up in this area much oh, like yeah. I did. But You've seen it. The fact that he decorates the whole house, calls the in-laws, everybody out on the front lawn and says, hey, I'm going to plug this in. He didn't check one fucking light on that house before going, hey... Watch this. But but you remember it was it was And then he puts the whole power no, grid of no, Chicago no, 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 no. out of system. Here's here's the weird thing. It's a common on, actual Wally. thing in, in, in a Midwestern power grid that you have one uh light switch in your house, you have no clue what it actually goes to. I'll and give it you happened that. to be I'll the, the one that. that they couldn't figure out was the one to the outside lights. I have one at my mom's house. There there, there is one at my mother's house. So she's lived there since 2003. There is one specific light switch we still, to this day, have no idea what it goes to. I feel like it's a common theme in a Midwestern house. It could There's be. one light switch you don't know what it goes to. It could be. And that movie that happened to go to the outside lights. Let me ask you this. One thing that bothers me a lot about this movie is the fact that Chevy Chase gets trapped in the attic. Now, I don't know about your attic or my attic or anybody else's fucking attic, but... The fact that the door just falls down and Chevy Chase gets locked in from the opposite side. So so if we went to my grandparents' attic, it's very much like that on my dad's side. But if we went to my attic, it's a door that goes up to the attic. It There's goes up stairs. and down. And the other thing that I like... There's a 50-50 shot you're going to get locked in your attic in a Midwest house okay, if that that's, happens. That, that's fine. But the fact that Doris Roberts just sees a ladder to the attic... And, and she just, just goes, closes hey, it. fuck it, I'll, I'll close her up. Fuck it, everybody close hates Raymond, close everybody hates Chevy. Everybody hates Doris Roberts, RIP. <laughs> oh, Doris Roberts is a... Doris Roberts was a treasure, Phenomenal RIP. Woman. But... Again, another Christmas movie, I feel like the plot is rushed. It's like, okay, it's pre-Christmas. Oh, we're shopping for Christmas. Uncle Eddie. Uncle, Uncle Eddie, Eddie shows, shows up. up out of nowhere. Everybody has an Uncle Eddie in their family, whether it's an actual uncle or not. But everybody has an Uncle Eddie. It could be your brother. It could be your cousin. I myself feel like I'm the Uncle Eddie in... My uh, dad's side, I, I just feel like I'm the Uncle Eddie all around. Now, I, Uncle show up, e- Uncle I show up to up Christmas vaguely drunk in an RV or a vehicle that they have no business owning. Now, Uncle Eddie shows up in the RV, mm-hmm. right? And what's yes. the first thing Uncle Eddie says? Uh, hey, Clark, do you think you could watch the kids so me and my wife could go in there and just get it on real quick? We've been traveling for a long time. Like, you know, you know the all right, other- all right, Eddie. <laughs> The, the other thing that Uncle Eddie mentioned is the uh, shitter's full. And he dumps it yeah, out that's, right that's, in the sewer. That's the nationally known one, but Uncle Eddie and his wife are getting it on in the RV oh, real quick. Oh, big facts, big facts. They want personal time. But everybody in their family has an Uncle Eddie. But we then after twister. that, the plot's kind of rushed. Like, Clark gets fucked on his Christmas bonus. It's the jelly of the month. Uncle Eddie goes to kidnap his boss. His boss comes back. Which Uncle Eddie has no information on where this guy he lives. He does not. He literally and just finds again, this guy. Major, major plot hole. Major Big plot, plot hole. hole. And but, the fact, hold on, I want to backtrack one second. Clark's going to build a pool with his bonus. And then all of a sudden, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, she's just getting out of the pool and he's jerking it in the kitchen. And then Uncle Eddie's daughter the, comes in. Uh, again, again, the lady from the uh, lingerie counter at the mall. As is a constant in the family vacation movies. But we get to the point, Uncle Eddie has somehow found Clark's boss, Chevy Chase's character's boss. He brings him back to the house, makes him realize the error of the ways. It yeah, is he a, changes his mind it is really a low fast. rent take on 
a Christmas Carol. Like, oh, this rich miser sees the error of his ways, gonna reinstate the actual true Christmas bonus, fuck the Jelly in the Month Club, and basically just give Clark a bonus. And small detail that a lot of people don't notice is Beverly D'Angelo is holding on to Chevy Chase's dick in the whole scene. The entire Just time. holding on the to it like scene. straight face. Again, it's a family movie, but it's family not a family movie. Family movie. Family movie that has many but scenes you don't want to watch I, with I your family. I just feel like, and I love it, I, I will watch it anytime it's on TV, but it's a very watered-down, low-rent version of A Christmas Carol. A rich miser realizes the error of his ways and finally pays his best employee a fair fucking wage. Yeah, kiss his ass, kiss my ass. Happy yeah, every, Hanukkah. Hallelujah, holy shit, where's the Tylenol? <laughs> Christmas vacation, instant classic. Five, five shots? But what, are you, what are you rating it? I will, again, give it, as like I did last week, a three and a half. It's a rehash story done in a modern time, but... This is one that I will It's still very hash. You. Again, don't get me wrong, I love it. I will watch it anytime it's on, but it's like... I know exactly where this entire fucking plot's going if I'd never even seen the movie. 100%. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5 also. So we're in agreement. Cheers. We're in agreement. Cheers. 8 Mile Vodka. Thank you, guys. Hallelujah. Holy shit. Where's the Tylenol? We ruined a classic, but it was worth it. But it was worth it.